lots of different types of balls. Beach balls to play with in the sand. Soft balls to play bat and ball. Small balls to roll along the ground. Balls to kick. But one of my favourite games is catch. And all you need for that is a tennis ball. Tennis balls can be all sorts of different colours and they're nice and fluffy. But do you know how a tennis ball is made? Let's find out. How is it made? A tennis ball. The life of a tennis ball starts here. In a tennis ball factory. They make thousands of tennis balls here and they come in all sorts of different colours. There are orange ones, pink ones, green ones and, of course, my favourite, yellow and red ones. I'm going to show you where it all starts. This is a big block of rubber. And rubber is a stretchy material that's used to make lots of different things, like the tyres on a bicycle, the sole of your shoe, or even a tennis ball. And rubber actually comes from the inside of a rubber tree. And it's sent to factories just like this one to be turned into lots of different things. When that big block of rubber gets put on this hot rolling machine, it turns black. But how does that become a tennis ball? This is Andy. He works at the factory and he's going to mix up the rubber with some special ingredients to make it really strong and bouncy. It makes lots of dust. It's like it's snowing inside. <laughs> Let's go see what happens next. Andy's now adding his special ingredients to the black rubber. It makes it stretchy, like dough. It's a bit noisy, isn't it? Thank you. Wow. So this is what it looks like once it comes off the machine. Doesn't look much like a ball yet, does it? Rubber is very soft and bendy. And once Andy has fed those rolls of rubber into the machine, Inside, it's being squished together and pushed through a small hole. This turns the rubber into something called nuggets. And this is what they look like. Just the right amount of rubber to make half a tennis ball. So two nuggets will make one ball. When the rubber nuggets have cooled down, they are lined up in a big tray called a mould. This machine looks like a big face, doesn't it? You can see two eyes, a nose and a big mouth. And look, our nuggets are being fed into the mouth of the machine. Can you guess what happens to the nuggets next? Inside the machine, the nuggets get pressed together by a heavy weight. It weighs the same as three lorries. How heavy is that? And can you hear the sound? It sounds like a steam train is chugging along. Let's see what all that weight on the mould has done to the rubber nuggets. Wow, for the first time, they're actually starting to look like balls, but they're half balls at the moment, and you can't play anything with that. So, we need to stick them together. And this machine will do just the job. It's another pressing machine. As the machine heats the balls, it makes the rubber soft and sticky so that the two sides are glued together. Look, here we have our tennis ball. <laughs> Look how bouncy it is. Do you think it's finished? Not quite. There's one final step, and that is its brightly coloured fuzzy coat. And this is where they put their coats on. The coats arrive at the factory like this, in two pieces of material. It feels all fuzzy. Do you know what animal this material comes from? 
Well, I bought a special camera with me. It's like a microscope, which makes really small things look really big. Let's use it on our fuzzy material to see if it can help you guess what animal this comes from. Whoa, look at that! You can see every tiny part of the cloth. And those little stringy bits are called fibres and they help the ball to fly through the air. Ah, I think I've seen something like this before. Have you guessed the animal? Yep, it's a sheep. This material comes from wool, which you get from a sheep's coat. Our ball has now been covered in glue and it's time to put its woolly coat on. The coat comes in two pieces and they fit together rather like a jigsaw. And there we go, the ball is almost finished. But the glue around the edges is still quite rough and we want it to be nice and smooth. So it needs to go into the last machine. The balls go into the final press, which melts the glue and makes it smooth. And here we have our finished ball. The glue is smooth and flat and that fuzzy material is all soft and fluffy. Now it's time to play with it. What was your favourite part of making a tennis ball? Can you remember what tennis balls are made of? That's right, rubber. And it comes from inside a rubber tree. Did you hear the sound the machine made when it squashed the rubber nuggets into half balls? It sounded like a steam train. Did you see what the cloth on the tennis ball looked like when we filmed it with my special camera? Look at all those fluffy little fibres. They come from a sheep's woolly coat. So the next time you play with the ball or go for a ride on a bike, you can tell everybody you know just how it was made and how it works. Anyone for a game of catch?